This uh, video is about the concept called breakdown. Breakdown can happen in the Arnoldi method because at some point you're dividing by beta, which potentially can be zero. And that's what we call breakdown. Since we take the Gram-Schmidt coefficients and put them in the last column of our HM matrix, having breakdown means that the last row of your HM matrix is identity zero. So the last element, HM plus one M, is zero. That's equivalent to having breakdown. So beta is equal to zero. Okay, having breakdown may sound like a bad thing, but it turns out it's not as bad as it sounds. So we're going to see now that uh, having breakdown, so having this hm plus 1 m equal to 0, is equivalent to that we have an optimal situation. So we have a Ritz value which is exact. So the, recall that the Arnoldi method is a Rayleigh Ritz projection method, which means that so the Ritz values are our eigenvalue approximations. And so in, when we have breakdown, in fact, we have that the Ritz values are exact. We have zero approximation error. So we're going to see that it's a direct consequence of the following lemma. So we start by assuming, as usual, that Qm and Hm are uh, satisfy the Arnoldi factorization, and that mu and z form an eigenpair of the Hm matrix. Also, as usual, we assume that V is the eigenvector approximation corresponding to the eigenvalue approximation mu, and so we let V be equal to QMZ, where Z is the eigenvector of HM. Okay, so we've formed an eigenpair approximation, mu V, and now we're going to look at the residual corresponding to this eigenpair approximation. So we're, we're gonna show that, okay, so the, the residual, AV minus mu V, is equal to HM plus one M times EMZ, where EM is the mth unit vector. So uh, note here that this is a uh, HM plus one M is the, the last element of the Hessenberg matrix. So this means that if uh, the last element of the Hessenberg matrix is zero, we get that the right hand side is zero. So uh, the left hand side is zero. So we have zero residual. So which means that we have an exact eigenpair. The equivalence above is a direct consequence of, of this lemma. If we have breakdown, the residual is zero. Let's prove this. Okay, first we use that uh, the V is equal to QMZ. We insert that and we put this in a particular order here, such that we can see that mu Z, we have that product, which is exactly what uh, the definition of the um, eigenpair uh, of HM. So this can be replaced by HM Z. We're now going to use the Arnoldi factorization, which you've seen maybe in this form. So AQ, QH, and uh, we're going to use a slight variation where we expand like the first, last column and last row of HM. So we first, we first get this block here, QM, HM, and then we get the product of the last column and the last row of, of QM and HM. So it's HM plus one M, QM, EM, where M, EM is the mth unit vector. And we insert this into the quote into the, our quantity here. And now we see that uh, QM HM cancels on both sides, so we can express this a little bit more compactly. The last step of the proof consists of just taking the absolute value for the norm of uh, the residual. And we use that uh, QM plus one is a co column in the Q matrix, so its norm is equal to one. And we don't need to take a, a, a norm here, we can just take absolute value, so we really have equality. And uh, so here we have that the residual is equal to HM plus one M, EM transpose Z, which is exactly what we wanted to show with this theorem. End of proof. <laughs>